right, we are starting off this vlog in my dirty car with my ashy lips because I swore I left my um, lip balm in here, but I can't find it. So please don't come for me about my chapped lips. But um, good morning, everybody. Today is Saturday, May 6th. Is, oh my goodness, I look so dry and ashy. It is 9.03 in the morning. <laughs> and I have to work later on this afternoon. If you don't know, I work I work as a kindergarten teacher during the week, but on the weekends I work at Ulta Beauty Store um, because they don't pay teachers enough. We all know that. So I have to work later on this afternoon. I'm closing, so I got up early to do all of my routines and stuff. So I made my coffee, did my devotion, all those things. And now I'm about to go out and run some errands. Um, and no, not just Starbucks and Target, but I actually have some errands to run. Well, <laughs> Teacher Appreciation Week is coming up. Um, I've gotten most of my gifts for a lot of my coworkers um, and the team that I teach with, but I still have a couple more gifts to get. Like I wanna get all of the teacher assistants, the paraprofessionals, I wanna get them all um, gift cards. So I'm gonna go do that. I'm gonna stop by Kroger and do that. And then um, I wanna get um, my teacher bestie, <laughs> my friend, who has been just the absolute best um, co-worker ever. I wanna get her like a really like cute, thoughtful gift. So I'm gonna go to TJ Maxx. And then I also wanna get some things for the classroom. Cause it's May and usually in May, teachers, you know, keep their kids busy while they like clean up and like organize their room so that's what I'm gonna be doing <laughs> for the next two three weeks of school that we have left I'm gonna be um, keeping the students busy and then I'm gonna be cleaning and organizing my classroom to get ready for August when we come back so I need some organizational thing I'm only going to those three places Kroger uh, TJ Maxx pop shelf because I want to come back home so that I have time to so that I have time to rest and uh, prepare for my shift tonight at Ulta. So that is the lowdown for today. I can't believe I left my lip balm inside. I really, I could have sworn I left it in this car. I need to clean this car. Every errand trip, every shopping trip starts with checking your bank account. Lord, there's gonna come a day where I won't have to do this. <laughs> So we are outside of TJ Maxx. So we are at TJ Maxx. Um, I had to stop at Rising Donuts, y'all. I've been wanting Rising Donuts for the longest time. It's been like two years, two years since I've had Rising Donuts. And I just never get out of my house early enough to get the donuts. Every single time <laughs> that I go over there, they're always sold out because I get there like 12 1 p.m. and they're always sold out so I actually got there early enough to get half a dozen donuts and their donuts are so good you guys and I went to Kroger and got the gift cards for my co-workers um, that was interesting so I found the gift cards but then the self-checkout thing was like acting up and then I couldn't remember the pin for my debit card I left my main debit card at home in my work bag and so I have to use my backup debit card. 
out. I, I didn't remember the pin for my backup debit card, so I was standing there for a while. And I kept trying, and I kept telling me it was wrong, and it was embarrassing. But I got the gift cards. I figured it out. I figured what the pin is. I just got to remember it now. Um, but yeah, I got the gift cards, and so now we're at TJ Maxx. I am pressed for time, because you know I got to make it home for work. So we're about to go to TJ Maxx. I need to make a list so that I know what I'm supposed to be getting in here. Um... I know what I'm getting. Alrighty. Let's go do this. I really want to take a bite of one of the donuts. Alright, here's the Oreo donut. Mm. Mm. That's some good stuff. All right, let's go. Good morning, y'all. Um, so I really am about to cry. Like I, I literally was just about to like burst into tears. I don't know if y'all can hear that, but I have been getting ready all day and as soon as I am ready and I you know am sitting down to film this haul for you guys someone decided to start mowing their lawn and it's so annoying and so frustrating <laughs> I just so <laughs> I am ready and dressed for work um, my room is a hot mess as always but here's what I'm wearing. I'm wearing this dress from Zara that I got on sale in like January. Um, and I'm just probably gonna wear some sandals. My feet are ashy. Um, I'm gonna wear some sandals. I'm gonna bring my Telfar bag, which is on my bed right there. And yeah, that's gonna be my outfit for work. But before I go to work, which I honestly should be leaving, I like to leave for work an hour early. Um, just so I have enough time to get there because I do work in a different city so I like to leave an hour early unplug the iron I like to leave an hour early just so I have time you know I don't like to rush but I'm going to film this haul for you guys because there's no guarantee that my house will be quiet when I come back from work and it's quiet now well it was until that person started moving their lawn so anyway I have moved into a different location. I'm in my mom's room, my parents' room, and I'm just going to film the haul for you guys in here. Cause as you can see, it's quieter um, than it is in my room. So let's just do that. Here we are, cause I have to get this done. All right, the setup is a little bit ghetto, but here we are. I probably have lint all over my dress, but again, here we are making it work. So I went to TJ Maxx, Dollar Tree, Dollar General, Pop Shelf, trying to find all of these things for Teacher Appreciation Week and a little bit of Mother's Day stuff and then just a little bit of stuff that I needed, like random stuff. So gift bags. I bought gift bags for all of the gifts that I bought. Starting off with the gifts that I got for my work bestie. Um, so uh, one of the co-workers has been like my teacher bestie. Um, me and her have connected this past school year. Um, and so sadly she is leaving. She will not be teaching with us uh, the next school year, which is so sad. But she will be traveling a lot now that she's not working um, as a teacher. So I decided to make her a, a grab bag or a gift bag full of things that you need to travel. Like a gift bag full of travel essentials. I got her these um, pouches for traveling. I got her some little, um, what do you call these? Travel bottle kit. So all of these things in case she, you know, needs to bring stuff in her carry-on. I got her um, two rain ponchos in a pouch 
because I know that she also likes to go hiking and exploring nature when she travels. So some rain pouches. Um, of course, your OG essential, the neck pillow with an eye mask, a sleeping eye mask. Um, I got her a little belt bag. Um, and I got her these cute little luggage um, tags. And finally, I got her a, um, an international travel adapter because I know that she will be traveling out the country a lot. That's what I got her. It's not a lot, but it's just a little something, you know, uh, because I know she's going to be going on so many adventures. So and I did keep it black themed, like I bought everything in black because she <laughs> isn't fussy like me. Like I'm very particular about the colors that I like, but she isn't. So I got everything, you know, in like this really cute, classy, like black theme. And then I also got her a gift receipt which is in the bag that's good i got her a gift receipt um so that if she doesn't like the designs of something like this for instance then she can just return it and get what she wants all right so for myself kind of i got some things from tj maxx so first i got a lot of stuff for my classroom i'm always buying things for my classroom but first we have this um i don't know if you can see it it's like this acrylic um spinning storage thing that is really cute it's for makeup brushes but i'm gonna use it in my classroom for pencils so i have a small group table like a table where i do my small groups and um i'm always moving my pens back and forth back and forth from my um regular like teacher desk table um to my small group table like i'm always moving back and forth between my two tables <laughs> and i hate that so i bought this so that i can keep my own um supply of pens and pencils and whatever else <laughs> on my small group tables it was actually on sale for six dollars i got this little gift bag because for one of my gifts that i'm giving um the teachers that i work with my the other teachers on my team I bought them little magnets um so they're gonna go in the, this gift bag the magnets came wrapped but one of two of the magnets came in the same wrapping so i have to take one of the magnets out of the packaging and put it in here if that makes sense another thing for my classroom dust pans <laughs> dust pans okay my students i love <laughs> to allow them um to clean up um during dismissal um and they love it like they love being able to clean up to you know clean up the floor wipe the tables erase the board they love doing that stuff okay i don't know why but they do so <laughs> i got them dust pans so that when they clean the floor they don't have to pick up crumbs with their hands anymore <laughs> and then lastly these are for me um we have this jewelry organizer that i thought was pretty cool Sorry, the door is white, so you can't see it, but it looks like this. And I'll show you once I put it up in my room. But it's this marble and gold jewelry organizer. I think it's for necklaces and bracelets. At least that's what I'm going to use it for. But look at it, it's so cute. So my current situation for my jewelry is not cute at all. Like, it's, it's not cute. It doesn't look good. I bought that to kind of help organize that area and organize my jewelry so I can see everything that I have, which is not much. I need to stock up on my jewelry again. And so going along with that, I also bought this jewelry organizer, which is just these two stackable trays. Um, it was also on sale for $13. And I like this because you can stack them and it also comes with all these different sections for different things. And I liked that it was just flat and you can see everything. Like, I don't have to constantly open and close it. I can just see everything. It's all laid out for me already. Um, and that would be very helpful, especially in the mornings when I'm getting ready for work. Or when I'm just getting ready in general. So I can just grab and go. These two things to help me organize my jewelry. And I will be um, purchasing some more jewelry from Anna Luisa. I always buy my jewelry from Anna Luisa because I just, I love their stuff. And then lastly from TJ Maxx, I just got 
these pair of slacks I guess this is beige or cream I got them on sale for $20 they're just these max studio slacks um, between my full-time job as a teacher <laughs> and my um, part-time job working you know in a beauty store I am in business casual <laughs> seven days a week <laughs> okay so anytime I see a pair of slacks a nice blouse a cute dress I buy it um, if it's you know at a reasonable price because I live in business casual. Like this is what my life has come to as an adult. Sorry if the angle changed. Um, but real quickly before I have to go to work. Um, another gift bag <laughs> and tissue paper for Mother's Day for Teachers Appreciation Week, all those things. Uh, oh, I also bought um, gift cards. I told y'all about the gift card situation, but I bought <laughs> gift cards for some of the teachers of course and then I bought these die cuts um these paper cutouts from the Dollar Tree because I love changing the theme of my bulletin boards to match the season we're in so right now I still have all of the Easter stuff up so I'm going to take all that down um this week when I go in I'm going to take all that stuff down and put up these little summer flowers and then speaking of that <laughs> so I bought just two packs of these bubbles because my students love <laughs> to play with bubbles um, for recess so I just bought that lastly from pop shelf I literally did not buy anything I was looking and looking and looking for decorations for my classroom for containers to um, you know for my classroom to just to organize my classroom and I could not find anything I went to two different pop shelves um, I went to one yesterday and then I went to one Friday and I just couldn't find anything. But I did get a calculator because last week I was at work, you know, doing some stuff, doing some forms, you know, end of the year, lots of forms and data to do. And I was like, I need a calculator. Like I was adding up and telling up things and I just realized like I don't want to use my phone <laughs> for this all the time. Like I need a calculator. So I bought a calculator. I just bought some pens like these are my favorite type of pens um these are the pilot g2 and the seven the point seven and i just got this paper mate and ink joy gel pen also in point seven but it's pink it's so funny because i used to use the ink joy pens in high school like religiously like those are my go-to pens so it's crazy that now that i teach in a school i'm still using those pens okay i <laughs> I'm now lugging all of this stuff back to my room and it's so funny because, oh, I thought the person had stopped cutting the lawn, but they haven't. They're still going. I, I need to get going because I really don't like to leave my house too late when going to work because here in Atlanta, the traffic is crazy. Um... And the people drive like they have nowhere to go. And so I can't leave the house too late or else I'll be late. Like, and not, ah! <laughs> this is a chaotic mess, hold on. All right, yeah, so as I was saying, <laughs> um, I can't leave my house too late or else I'll be late for work and not like kind of late. Like I'll be like 15 minutes late to work, which I already <laughs> came to terms with the fact that I might be late today, but I don't want to be that late. I told y'all I've been using the Gucci Flora, but I've also been using this coach. Flora? Is it also called Flora? That would be crazy, wouldn't it? I think it's also called Flora. But this is the coach Flora or floral perfume. I've also been using it. Not me spraying the top of my head, <laughs> but um, it smells it smells so good. This is going to be my summer scent. And another thing, I bought myself a Stanley. I finally gave in. I've been wanting one since like January, but just never found one in store that I liked. And I just thought it was too big. Like, look at it. But I finally caved and bought it. And I love it. 
I actually bought my mom one for Mother's Day too. This really pretty blue one. She's gonna love it. But anyway, here I am talking. I should be leaving. Hey everyone. So it is a new day. It is a Monday. And I just woke up from a nap. I don't know if you can tell. But I went to work today and I left work early, like super early, the earliest I've ever left. <laughs> That's how you know it's the end of the year um, when you get to work late and you leave early. So I left work early, came home, took a nap, and now I'm up and I'm about to complete the rest of the um, reset that I was doing this past weekend. I didn't get to finish it yesterday after work. I got in at 8 p.m., ate dinner, watched the first episode of the new Bridgerton show Queen Charlotte, or is it Charlotte? And I took a shower and got in bed and went to sleep. So I did not get to finish everything that I wanted to do, so I will be finishing the rest of it today. So the first thing that I gotta do is take care of my laundry. Can you see that? My laundry right here. A mess. couple days later <laughs> it's a Wednesday um, I never finished off this video but I think the last thing you saw was me vacuuming my room um, I did finish like cleaning up my room well for the most part I am sitting here about to make my um, teacher appreciation gifts for the ladies that I teach with um, and I'm very excited about that. If you can hear my fan, I'm sorry. I didn't turn it off. Um, so one thing I was thinking about this week that I wanted to talk to you guys about real quick before I end the video. I was thinking about how this is like really the first time that I can give the way I want to give. I love giving um, and buying gifts for people. Like I love thinking about, oh, what does this person want? And how can I make them feel really like special? And just seeing what I was able to do for like the people that I work with. And then Mother's Day is coming up and seeing what I was able to do for um, Mother's Day for, you know, my mom, my grandma, my aunt. Um, it just makes my heart really warm because I just feel like this is the first time that I've actually been able to give the type of gifts or the type of appreciation that I want to give um and so it makes me really happy if you watched a video that I did I think it was my life update video I talked about how I wanted to be more generous um and I think I really achieved that <laughs> this month um and this during this like season you know spring season it, there's a lot going on it's teacher appreciation it's graduation it's um Mother's Day so I'm I think I'm I'm able to give and be a lot more generous this season than I have been 
ever in my entire life and it makes me so happy that I can give the way I want to give finally um so yeah I'm gonna write up these cards for my coworkers. I'm going to add their gift um to the cards and then I'm going to eat dinner watch another episode of Queen Charlotte and call it a night get ready for it tomorrow um and yeah Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I can't wait to start next weekend's video. Um, and make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, have a amazing rest of your day or whatever you're watching this. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.